Hey y'all, Austin here with Outer World Media. I'm going to start off by apologizing in advance if you hear some, some weird noises. It is the wind. We are experiencing a uh, wind advisor here in West Texas uh, this weekend. But uh, now that that PSA is over, let's dive into it. Today we are talking about Another Man's Moccasins, book number four by Mr. Craig Johnson. Um, so kind of a little backstory on this book. I was on that cruise... Um, when I read the first four books, uh, most of this book, if I'm not mistaken, it was back in September, so you'll have to excuse me. I read probably 85% of this book on that cruise while and whatnot. And this one is definitely set aside versus the, the first three. Now, while number three is one of my, it's probably in my, it's definitely my top three favorites um, that I've read thus far in the series. I'm about halfway through the series um, at this point, uh, excluding short story collections and novellas and whatnot. Um, but essentially what this book is about um, is you have Walt Longmire who discovers the body of a young Vietnamese lady. Um, and they think it's an open shut case after a little bit of investigating. They think they have found the killer. But upon further investigation, Walt discovers a picture that is uh, haunting of his past from 40 years ago when he was an MP in Vietnam for the Marines. Um, so that just kind of sums it up right there. But again, you know, as the investigation continues into it, you know, they discover maybe it's not an open and shut case. Um, this book is, like I said, it's a little different than the other ones. What I mean by that is there are two mysteries going on in this book. Um, we have the flashback when, you know, we have a young Walt in Vietnam, you know, when he's a military police MP uh, for the Marines who's doing an investigation. And then we have modern day Walt who is also during doing an investigation so we kind of see how those two kind of uh, kind of connect and intertwine with each other and whatnot we get to meet some colorful characters in this book as per usual with this series um you know again i don't want to say it's not memorable this book is again because we do get to see a young walt um during like i said you know during his Marine days and the flashbacks. I will say, and Mr. Johnson uh, touched on this when I did the interview with him. You know, he didn't want to just hear characters talk about. It. He wanted to have a full fledged flashback. So probably a quarter of this book is young Walt in Vietnam, and I just I love that. Just kind of seeing you know how he was, you know, what kind of led him to become the person that he is in modern times in this series. Um. And again, this book is memorable for the, the dual investigation, if you will. It's not the best book. It's not my favorite book in the series. I'll be honest with you. Um, it's not my least favorite either. Um, you know, we, we get the usual characters in this. We get Walt. We get Henry. We get Vic. You know, we're introduced to Virgil White Buffalo, who becomes very, very important as the series goes on. I kind of thought he was going to be kind of just a, uh, a one-off character in this Um book but he really does become integral you know as the series goes on now that i'm 10 books in the series i can see kind of how he was setting things up and so i think for that this book definitely ranks higher uh up because of the you know characters that you know mr johnson introduces in this and how important they will become later on in the series and whatnot um, again, as per usual with Mr. Johnson's uh, long wire novels, this one's not too too long. Come in about 200 and, 290 pages. So definitely not that long of a book. Um, but that's not a, a deterrent, I don't think. Um, you know, like I said, when I, you know when I was interviewing Mr. Johnson, he talked about how you know noir was dark and dingy and whatnot. And, you know, and that's that's not this series. I mean, he has it down, concise. It is, there, there's no fluff, is what I will say. You know, it's it's all meat and potatoes in these stories. Um, you know, every character that you meet in here in the series that I've seen thus far does come back at some point um, in one way or another. And so that's one thing that I will say I love as the series has gone on, you know, is the more we meet these characters the more it kind of becomes like a, a distant relative, if you will. You don't see them very often. You kind of hear stories about them. You know, you'll have characters talk a little bit about this. But, you know, when they do come back in the story, when you do get to see them again, 
it's like that that distant relative that you know you, you love but you don't know a whole lot about them and whatnot um and, and again i just i love this series i know these videos for the this series have not been that long um it's kind of hard to make these uh videos a little longer without spoiling stuff in this um I just, I don't know. I just love this series so much. I mean, it really, the more I read this series, the more I realize, hey, I'm definitely going to go back and reread this series. Um, well, there'll be ones that I may be like, man, I, I really want to read that one. Um, yeah, one in particular that comes to mind is what is it? Junkyard, Junkyard Dogs. That's one of my favorite ones too. And that's one I would probably go back and just reread. But that's the thing thus far with these, you know, 10 books that I've read in this series, just kind of doing an overview of the series now. I would definitely go back and reread them. And that's why I bought these books in, you know, physical format was just so that way I could have them. And not only that, I mean, come on, these covers, while they're, they're plain and they're simple, these covers are awesome. I don't care what you think. I, I could do without the Longmire A, A and E symbol over there. But again, I don't know. I just, I, I love this series. Um, like I said, you know, the more I talk about it, you know, the more I gush about this series, uh, you know, at this point, if, if you're not tr giving this series a shot, <clears throat> I, I highly recommend it. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. Pick up this series. Try getting through the first couple books. Um, I know there's a fellow YouTuber, Dustin Neely, I believe is his last name. You know, he, he bought this series. He said he was going to give it, you know, a shot and try it. And he, he wasn't too keen on the first book. And I told him, you know what, kind of go into a little bit more. You know, the series gets better as it goes on. And he's enjoying it, it looks like. And that's something that I, I love is that, you know, while the first book may not be the strongest, you know, the further you get in this series, the more you become, you know, associated and comfortable with these characters. The more you find yourself just kind of wanting to sit in this world, in Absaroka County, and get to spend time with Walt. Um, you know, while he may not be... The, the best sheriff, he may not be the best investigator um, by any means. He, he definitely is someone that I don't mind taking 290 pages and hanging around him, whether, you know, it's back in Vietnam or if it's in modern day Absaroka County. Again, I just, I cannot talk about this series enough. I just, I absolutely love it. This is definitely becoming one of, if not my favorite series um, that I've read, the ongoing series, if you will. Uh, but again, that is my review for Another Man's Moccasins. Would I recommend this book? Yes. I will tell you now, I'm going to spoil every review that I have from here on out for this series. I recommend all these books. Obviously, start with book one and go forward. But just know once you get into, you know, book four, we really, really get to start seeing characters that are going to come back and be reoccurring. And I just, I can't recommend this series enough. Um, I definitely would rank this. I would probably rank this book a three out of five, which is not bad. It's not bad by any means. Um, you know, I think if you're three or above, it's a good book. Uh, five obviously being a, a perfect book or I absolutely love it. Could not put it down. And that's most of these books. I, I can't put them down once I start them. Um, it just it, this one again. While it was not my favorite, I, I definitely I I enjoyed it. Um, I did not hate it. I don't think I've hated a single book in this series um, thus far. Um, but again, I would highly recommend picking up this series and and checking it out um, and whatnot. But again, as always, thank you all for stopping by to check out my review of the Walt Longmire uh, mystery series. Have a good one.